check out noscopeglasses.com for some great deals on gaming glasses and make sure you use the code CRYPTO. Hello and welcome to episode number three of Race for Pace. You all should know what it is by now. If you don't, check out episode one and two. The link to the playlist will be in the description. And we're just going straight in trying to find a game. Let's go. So this is the team we, we, we've we come up against. Our second in form Yang with Hunter and 89 Aguero. That is that is way too fast for my team. This could be a struggle. Don't run through, please don't. Oh, oh, oh god, I broke him. I'll take a yellow card. Yep, yeah, yellow card, that's fine. I just can't do any more of those. Don't be good at free kicks. Oh my god. Okay, he, he's decent at free kicks. Please be faster than Hummels. Please be. Oh, he's not, is he? Corner, corner, please. Okay, let's get the big men forward. Let's see what we can get from this. If John Terry's in the box, that'd be great. I don't think he is, though. Oh, Giroud. Oh, yes, 1 0. Olivier Giroud. What a man he is. That's a great header. Powerful, accurate. Tim Howard had no chance. Go on. Get that. Use your strength. No, no, no. He's missed it. Aguero's actually missed that. Oh, I got lucky there. Oh. Oh, go on, Joe. Bring it back. Oh, that's beautiful play. Oh, that is a great goal. What a goal by Joe Cole. I'm rhyming accidentally. And half time. 2 0 up against this team. That is pretty good. He hasn't even had a shot on target. I've been dominating this game, and also it helps that I've had good finishing. But yeah, let's keep this up, boys. Richard Dunn, please. Yes, he's so good. You just have to get over the fact he has no pace. Oh, no. Keep up. Go on, Ben. Oh, that was too far too easy for him. And it's 2-1. Still winning. Please let me hold on so I can get more pace points. That's the clean sheet gone as well. Oh, that is frustrating. I'm feeling good about this one as well. Just someone get there. Tom Huddleston. What a bang. Right into the top left corner. Oh, is he quit? Is this actually a rage quit? That would mean extra points for me. Another rage quit in the series. This is going far better than expected. This is pretty good. Like, okay, I should probably work out the pace points. Okay, so there were two gold, so that is four, and then one from a silver. Joe Cole, he's playing very well in the series, so that is seven in total. And then add ten for the win and rage quit put together, so that is seventeen pace points I've got. Seventeen plus, I think I had around thirteen left or something like that. So I've got thirty pace points that I could use. Result. So after a, another complete thrashing in this series, I've decided that I'm going to use the 17 points that I got in that game and keep the 13 that I had in the bank still in the bank. So I can try and upgrade maybe a bit bigger later on. But for now, I'm swapping George Boyd out for Lucas Podolski, purely because of his 87 shot. The shot power he gets on some of his are just... I'm pretty sure they're faster than bullets. That was legitness! Yeah, it was. Ha. So, that is the reason for that, and I am going to try and find another game. So, the next team. Uh, quite an odd team, to be honest. She's got a Premier League team. Two Team of the Season players, both as central midfielders. But he's got a bronze goalkeeper. A bronze West Brom goalkeeper. Olivier Jared. New man. He's. Oh. It's one for the RKO real. Please, please, please. Oh, if I'd scored that, yeah, it would have been an open goal. But still, it's like a 30 yard header. Keepers. You. Okay. I forgot, I don't have a gold goalkeeper, so I might have that struggle occasionally. Oh, Giroud. He's storming through. He's left-footed, though, so is that a penalty? Yes. 
bit of a weak penalty, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, Chris Smalling's what I thought. Shouldn't be diving in, especially not in the box. Yeah. Giroud steps up for another one. It is lagging slightly. I've still hit it nicely, though. And he scored again. Olivier Giroud just is a top quality penalty taker. He's got something like 89 penalties. It's mad. Right, let's keep this going. We need some more goals so we can get some more pace points. Richard Dunn, what a tackle. You made him literally fly. I believe I can fly. Giroud. It's basically through. He sees Podolski. Podolski hits one. Yes, 2-0. One for the debutant. Is that the word? Debutant? Something like that. But still, 2-0. Lucas Podolski with a goal. This is just incredible football. It just is. The two Arsenal men combining. Okay, you can have a, you can have a dink if you want, mate. Oh, no. Oh, what a save! Ben Amos. He is literally next level. He is incredible. He might have a couple just catching simple shots issues. Alright, come on. Let's get this ball. And he's injured him. Giroud's through. Oh, that's a beautiful touch. What a save from his keeper. And Giroud tries a spectacular when I don't think he should have. Wide ray round, so we can do. Oh, he's throwing goal. Go on, Amos. You. <gasps> John Terry, what are you doing? I told you to hit that out. And so you just booted it top corner. Oh, now it's only a one goal lead. No. Not like this. Please, no. Well in Ben Amos. He is great. Ah! He didn't dive, though. And it's my free kick. Good. Oh, God. Bit of a scare. Oh, it's half time anyway. 2 1. Should, should be 2 0, but apparently John Terry doesn't know what team he's playing for. The stats aren't really in my favour, to be honest, but I'm winning. That's the most important part. More shots, because he's just. Oh, where are you going, Richard Dunn? He's missed it. How has he missed that? Richard Dunn's positioning was a, wasn't, wasn't the best, not going to lie. Oh, that is a good pass from him. So you tried. Oh, 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 Ben Amos. I know I should have defended that better, but still, he didn't move. He just stared at the ball and watched it go in. He should never be scoring that. Oh, Ben Amos has played very well up until that. He just looked at the ball. He's like, oh, it's in the air, what do I do? If you jumped, you would have saved that. If you'd put your hands up, you would have saved that. Like,. You probably could have headed that out, to be honest. Why? Why would you put a guy on the line there? It's 41 yards. Yeah, sure, it was going in, but you didn't need to put a guy on the line. Well then, Richard. I, I don't trust the keep. That is why I don't trust him anymore. Prime example. Richard, done. Get back at him. Well then. I don't trust yeah. this goalkeeper. Th Look at that! Just look at that! Ben Amos has some handling issues, like, he can't catch a ball. He's a goalkeeper, and he can't catch a ball. Something's not right there. Gary Neville would have a field day if he knew what was happening. Oh, God. Oh, he saved that. He's a good shot stopper, he just can't catch anything. So obviously what he's going to do, he's going to go in and out. Get blocked to that. Oh, I just missed that horribly. And Ben Amos slid under the ball. Oh, no. See, this is what I was expecting more from this series, to be honest. But I'm pretty sure I can fairly say this game is mostly the keeper's fault. Yeah, sure, it's easy to blame the keeper. But he, he, he slid under it in two of the goals before. Yeah. He's not the best. Well, that's great play. Giroud. Giroud on his right foot. Oh, what a shot. Sliding over as he's hit it. On his weak foot. Top corner, posting in. That is what I like to see. It's a great goal, and the cameraman's being creepy and walked through my place. Where are you going, kids? Hey, I just want to talk to you. Why don't you come over to my place for a glass of wine and a couple of fruit pies, and then we can go in the back room and play Crazy Snake Tea. No. No. 
No. No. Oh, Ben Amos is a bit risky. Yeah, I'm definitely changing him. It was a good save, but he, he made it harder for himself. Why am I running to them? Okay, fair enough. That was a nice goal. That one, that one is good. I would allow that one. Ben Amos, you're, you're still bad, but that one wasn't your fault. Podolski! So here's goalkeeper who his bronze can catch. I broke him. He is literally abusing the fact my goalkeeper has had a mare this game. And full time. So I lost that game 5-3, so no rewards for winning the game. But I did score three goals, there's still a fair amount of pace points going into the bank. So at the end of that game, we did lose 5-3. Ben Amos, he got a 9.4, but he didn't play very well, to be honest. And, well, well, we did get three goals, and they were all by gold players. Um, unfortunately, Giroud did not get a hat-trick, so there's no extra ones there. So that is just six pace points going into the bank. I originally had 13, so 13 add 6 is 19, so I have 19 to spend. And I'm, I'm probably going to upgrade Ben Amos, to be honest. He did well for a couple games, but he's sort of just gone downhill, to be honest. But yeah, I'll see you shortly in the team. So at the end of that game, uh, we did lose it quite badly, to be honest. But we did get 6 base points, and I had 13 in the bank already. Add those together, you get 19. And out of those 19, I've decided to use 16 to upgrade my goalkeeper, as I said. And I thought I'd go with something a bit different. And so I have gone with Team of the Season Fabianski. I just thought we'd get a bit of different colour into this team. And the blue card will hopefully do that quite nicely. So thank you all for watching. I hope you did all enjoy. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Goodbye.